welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Angie and I am the owner of Baggy Sets with an X located here in Sydney, Australia. And today we are going to do a little shop with me video. I know my first video with my little shopping haul was really big. So I thought I'd take you on different sites with me and just show you like the process of how I find products basically. So we're gonna look at different websites and I have a whole list here on my computer. Um, you probably can't see, but I have a whole list of things on my computer that I've just written down about things I need to buy. So I thought that'd be really fun. I've seen a lot of these type of videos on like Femi Beauty, but yeah, we're gonna go into that and I hope you guys enjoy. here but we are going to have it screen recorded for you guys so you guys can obviously see exactly what I need to get um I also know there's gonna be a lot of questions about where I've been I like I always say this in every single video that I make and then I gap and then I disappear um, I just have been struggling a lot with my mental health recently Especially this year, you know, I'm seeing the psychologist and stuff like that, uh, etc, etc. I don't really want to go much into it, but that's why I don't really post a lot. So I just wanted to mention that, but I am wanting to get in the grind of things. You know, I did my makeup and my hair for this video. So, so let's start with this. So I am just on my google and the first place we're gonna go and look is the nail shop australia they always have good things and honestly they're the first place that i go to when i want nail products they're like the first stop that i go to they have literally everything on the side here if you're located in australia and new zealand and australia specifically I know they have a lot of products that are really really great and stuff like that um so usually i go and look in the new products first which is this first link they have so many different things as you can see from gel polishes to drill bits to sequins to glitters i'm more specifically looking for nail art brushes from them and maybe a couple of other things they have two ones let's just open up these in the link these look really cute i am wanting to do like a pink theme still like a pink or white my other brush acrylic brush my kalinsky brush is pink so it'd be really cute if i could keep that theme going these ones look really good. They're only $69. I know quality over quantity, but the ones that I bought off Amazon or eBay, you know, the typical like white ones, they are trash. But literally after a month or so, all the hairbrushes were coming out and I had to cut a lot of them. And yeah, it was cute, but we're gonna get these ones. And we're gonna have a look at the 3D nail art brushes. I'm really wanting one of those. And there's one right here, perfect. And this this one is like a pinkish glitter brush which is cute. Start practicing doing 3D artwork so I think this would be really good. Add that one to the cart too. And while we're here I always look at the nail art stuff which is one thing that I always go to. I do need to stock up on these little star and moon charms. These star and moon charms that I have, that I got the first time at the nail shop or the second time or something like that, they were so popular and now I've run out, which is these moon star astrology 3D charm thingies. They come in gold and silver. Last time I only got the gold, but I think this time I'm going to get the silver too. Their charms are really, really cute. Like these are the ones that they come with, like open stars, moons, a little asterisk thing which is so cute and I love that one. Let's have a look at what else is here. 
They also have these really pretty glitters. This one's like a hollow style one. That's only $9. That's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else that I really want from here. That's kind of it. Maybe some stickers and decals because their stickers are really, really cute. I love decals over like the water ones. I like the sticker ones better. They're just easier to me. I also can't really draw that much, but I'm wanting to learn. So this is going to help me a lot, but there's none that I can see that I want currently yet. Yeah, no. So this is four items and it's gonna equal up to $103, which isn't bad at all. Let's go into Amazon now though, because there are a couple of things that I need to get. Also I have stuff in my cart already. So I have the nail tips that I use, which is these ones. I have dental bibs and some gold and silver and rose gold flakes. I also want to get nail buffers, like little ones. <laughs> Like these block ones here, but smaller that I can just use on a client once and chuck out. Like these ones. Just because um, I feel like if I was to chuck out the big ones all the time, that's just too much. And yeah, I haven't really been using buffers that much, as much as I want to. This one's bigger, the ratings, but these are like the full ones. So maybe I could cut them because I don't want them to be, I don't want them to be like too, too big. I feel like that's very wasteful. I think I might go with these smaller ones even though they're a little bit more expensive. They're $15. Let's have a look at the ratings. I feel like on Amazon you always gotta look at the ratings because I don't know. I always feel like I look at the ratings and the votes and if they don't have any then I don't really go to them. I've just had bad experiences and I've seen a lot of people who just buy whatever and shit that it really look so let's add that to the card that because that's exactly like what i'm looking for i hope they're like quite smaller and they don't end up being like massive blocks and while we're here let's have a look at like the little glitter thingies so there's heaps here i'll just type in um nail art in the description and just see what comes up basically these are stuff that i've already bought they're really cute the orange wood sticks i use as cuticle pushes instead of metal ones you know because covid and stuff i would rather chuck them out but i usually skip a couple of pages because they're kind of boring dotting tools are the best i love them they're so easy to use honestly i use them for clouds and stuff like that i also use them to like fill up the space to be honest i feel like it's a little bit faster what else can we get i've also set a budget in mind for myself so there's a list of things that i want to get but i also have a budget so i don't really want to go over that these little diamond thingies are quite cute i like those and these little compartment things um they're so handy like most nail art that you can get off amazon or ebay or i don't know other different places usually come in those little boxes that i find um they're so convenient they're so small another thing that i kind of want to look for is like little tub containers so maybe like glass containers for when i make like custom glitters glitters or custom acrylics acrylic powders because usually i just make them in these like little plate thingies and then i end up chucking them and then they're so much like wasted so i might as well get like little jars for them where i can like reuse them and wash them out if i need to and so much clear powder and stuff i just don't know what to search to find those it's kind of a random purchase isn't it in net it's a little bit random in net uh let's type in like acrylic jar mid Oh no, that's gonna come up with like the plasticky ones. What can I type in? Glass mini jar. These are like food ones. I don't know, I've seen this one where this girl has them and she... It's like this, but a bit wider and slimmer. I don't know what you like type to find them. I think that'll be another thing that I'll find in my spare time another time. But I'm also gonna top up on some nail files. Some 180 100 nail files these are the ones that i use i just two times they're really good i'm gonna get the 100 piece one which is 40 dollars. that's absolutely fine by me i'm not gonna get any kds glue from here because my local nail supplies will sell them for so much cheaper so i'm just gonna keep these in my cart and we're gonna move on to diamond nail supplies which is located in sydney in lansdale next to caparamata they are really good. I like their store, but I don't really shop online with them. I usually go in store. I just haven't found the time to go in. 
really yet so I might just have a look and see like what I can get here but I want to look at their wipes because I need to get like non-linked wipes or if there's somewhere where I can get them for cheaper seems like I can I want to look at their acrylic powders <laughs> the only issues with the acrylic powders on here is that like this is the only swatch that I get like a little square There's no like real life swatch So I can't really tell the actual color and if that's gonna be the color that it comes out with So I think I might go and store for that. I also don't know what I've read for. Oh empty jars and containers So they have that here. Maybe they'll have the ones I'm talking about Oh no they have like nail tip ones. I think it's like this one, but that's like 60 milliliters. How much is 60 milliliters? It's like $4 for that. I also don't know how big 60 That's absolutely fine. Um, let's have a look. Face masks and nitrile gloves. So where I bought my gloves last time, my pink ones, I've gotten a lot of questions on those. I got them from Ruby Nail Supplies online and we're going to see if they have the pink ones again because the pink ones were for breast cancer. I love supporting that. I might go on Diamond Nail Supplies again because that's where I bought my face masks. I know that face masks are going to be really expensive though just because they're such high demand um, at the moment. I remember researching a couple times ago, like not long ago, and you no know, face masks were about a hundred dollars which I'm not spending a hundred dollars on masks but I obviously need them which is kind of annoying let's just type in pink face masks and see what comes up like medical ones so obviously I want them to be good quality I don't want them to be like trash I don't know if I trust them to be on Amazon either like I guess these are the ones that I bought I want to look at young nails because a long time ago on Young Nails, I bought this bulk, massive thing of like acrylic powder and I thought it was going to be cover peach, like the pink colour for like whatever I wanted to use it for. Um, but I think I just got like a pink powder and it was literally like clear and it was like so useless. I think it's peach that I get, but yet again, like these swatches are so useless. I don't know if it's just me. Let me guys know if like you think these swatches are useless too. 152.50, this one's 103. So that's about 255.50. That's not bad, my budget's 400. But I kind of don't want to go over. I still need to buy nitrile gloves and face masks, which I think I will do in my spare time. But I do want to have a look at nail art stuff too. So I might go back on Amazon and have a look. Because I'm addicted to having nail art stuff. Also, Young Nails Australia takes so long to ship stuff out. Like, but this one is thirty dollars, so one hundred and fifty-five hundred mark. I don't know if there's like anything else I should get on Young Nails. I kind of feel pathetic getting just like one thing, even though that's all I really need from them. I might look at their files though because I know a couple of people have gotten them and I've gotten them before, but I just honestly don't think that the cost is worth it just to have their brand on it. Yeah, fifty pack is one hundred and five dollars, whereas my ones I've got a hundred piece and it's 40 bucks and honestly they're really good like i like them so much i might pop in some nail forms that i have in my cart and i have these glitters here like chunky glitters and fine glitter and some crystals and some glow powders this is just for something else so i might get like these glitters as well i don't know maybe i'll leave them for next time but i have like glow pigments and stuff like that as well i might go in to diamond nail supply and maybe do like a vlog of me going into nail supply stores here in sydney so you guys can see the vibe and stuff like that they're not as extravagant as they are on what i see on like tiktok in like us and stuff absolutely not they're not that special here i don't know if there's anything else that i really need it's there i also want to get chalk like to make acrylic powders because i've seen that but i don't know if it's like do i get crayola or do i get like a fan oh the girl on tiktok has this one i don't know her name but she has like this one i noticed it i noticed the one that you've got love 
try get it and like make my own powders that would be cute right it's like a little experiment in there do i get like the big one or do i get multicolored like the 64 colors those are kind of cute oh let's just add to cart and like put it later it's also prime day i don't know what that means i don't know what that means and i hate shopping on amazon because i don't want to like give my money to check bezos but it is what it is. So all together on all the products that I put in my basket, it equals up to $337.77. So I'm gonna purchase all these now. But that's it for the Shop With Me video. I hope you guys like this type of video. I don't know if it was entertaining or not, if I just blabbled too much. I had fun shopping around with you guys and just having a look at different products and explaining like my thought process and everything like it. But I'm going to try and post at least two videos this month, two to three videos. It's on my whiteboard over there. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and try and do a bit of vlogging, a bit of nail stuff. Let me know what you guys would like me to post or what you guys would like me to make for you guys. Because at the end of the day, you guys are watching my videos. You values are watching my videos. So it helps me a lot letting me know what you would like to watch. 2020 has been a rough year for everybody, isn't it? Alrighty guys, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment down below and subscribe of course and hit the notification bell to know when I post. Follow me on Instagram at Sets with an X and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!